TLO was uh, we are live on Twitch because obviously we're doing a vlog thing, man. And I told y'all I'm going to do as many vlogs in a row as I possibly can. And what's today? The sixth? So this will make six vlogs in a row, right? You get me? Salute. Salute. <laughs> and y'all see the title, man. Um, I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm the go-to specialist for Glocks because I am not or firearms at all. I am neither nor none of that. But I will say, I know some of the laws and I know y'all curious to see like what my take is. Some of y'all may be curious to see what my take is on the gun laws. I am from Chicago, Illinois, so I can only give you my take on what's going on in Chicago. Uh, I currently live in Florida. It, Florida is a entirely different ball game when it comes to this. And I know out there, there is no ball game. So, I mean, everything's not legal out there. First and foremost, this is only about Glocks. So if you're not here and you're not involved and you don't want to hear about Glocks, you might as well click off the video. Um, I have had that right there that I just showed you. That's the oldest one I've ever, that was my first purchase ever. That's a Glock 30 SF. So what that means is it's a Glock 30, that's the model, you know, making model, you get me. SF is like the frame, it's a short frame. It's a short one, like it's like as big as my hand. So like a little pocket rocket. Now that right there, 45 ACP, that's a 45. I mean it shoot 45 caliber bullets. It's not a nine millimeter, it's a 45 millimeter. Okay? Now what that means is, if we get into an altercation and I have to defend myself, you're gonna have a hole about that big in you. So chill out. Not saying that I, but YouTube, once again, I do not condone any type of violence, but I do condone defending myself. And in Florida, they got the stand your ground rule. So Florida, they make it real simple and cut. Like if you get into an altercation and you feel like your life is threatened, you have the, you have the law on your side, stand your ground. In Florida, you don't need a gun license. You don't need any training on the gun. You don't need you don't need a FOID card. That's a FOID firearm. What does FOID stand for anyway? <laughs> firearm owner identification. ID. Firearm owner ID. That's what it's called. That's what it stands for. Uh, you don't need none of that in Florida. You can literally like, if you're trying to buy like a, a handgun, if you go to, so you could, you could go to a pawn shop. You know how y'all got uh, like a pawn shop so you can, you got 30 days to make a payment. You can literally go in there in Florida and they have firearms. You can purchase one straight from the firearms. I mean, for, straight from the pawn shop. Um, but they make you wait anywhere from 24 to 72 hours just in case you come in there and you want some angry stuff and you don't want to make it. They don't want to be responsible for a rash decision you make. But at the end of that 72 hours, they will sell you it no matter what. You don't need to go to a, uh, maybe, maybe they, maybe they are fire, licensed firearm dealers. I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, in Chicago, that is not a thing. Um, you have to have a FOID to have one in your house. We're talking about legally. You have to have a FOID card, uh, $10, no training. You can get one and that gives you legal right to own a firearm to protect your home in the city. I can only talk about Chicago in the city of Chicago. Um, you also, if you take a class for a concealed carry, they call it concealed carry class license. So CC license, you can get that as well. It's a little more pricey. You gotta go take a whole class. Um, you gotta have, I think 48 hours at the range. Uh, but I mean, all of that stuff is very doable. Then you take a test, they background check you. I went for my concealed carry multiple times, but I had too many, uh, I had too many aggravated batteries on my, uh, I had too many aggravated charges on my background. They wouldn't give it to me. That's fine. Take it how you want to. I was gonna try it one more time because after seven years of nothing, then that, that, that you cool. It's been like eight, nine years now. I, the last time I tried, it had to be like, I wanna say like five years ago. Like it wasn't that, living in Chicago, that it wasn't important. I didn't care. <laughs> I was living reckless, did not care. Um, now in Chicago, they recently made it so you can't do this. You used to build guns. 
like they're called ghost guns. They have no serial numbers that you can't track them or where they came from or anything if they get recovered in a crime or anything. You used to get a P80 frame. You can't do this in Chicago anymore, but you could do that. You could do this in Florida. Like it's gonna, everything is legal in Florida. <laughs> like when it comes to firearm, this, they, they're not playing about their firearms. They will never let you take them from them. Um, yeah, you used to build blocks. They used to have a plastic bottom, a P80 frame, and then you can go buy a Gen 4, Gen 5, Gen 3 uh, Glock slide. And you can buy the rest, the inner, the inners, the trigger, and all of that stuff. You could uh, buy it OEM straight from Glock. They'll sell it to you like 20 bucks, 30 bucks. Uh, now, at one point, I've owned two Glock 17s, Glock 19, Glock 30. Glock 40. Um, I've actually downsized. I only gone got Glock 17s and Glock this Glock 30 now. Um, now that I'm in Florida, I'm about to go get some crazy, crazy stuff. Yes, I do have a gun safe. I also do have a cabinet with a fingerprint lock on it where I keep it. To me, firearm safety is very important, man. Because I don't think any of these things are toys and things of that nature. Now this, this is the Glock 30. Glock 30, short frame. Look how short it is. Look how, this is my hand compared to it. Now it is empty, nothing in the chamber. This is my hand, this is it. Now to me, very comfortable. Once you put the mag in, like my finger got somewhere to go, boom, bow. This is not my favorite gun though, because it got, when you hitting me, when you dropping something, when you at the range, when you at the range doing the proper things that you should be doing, there's a lot of kickback. There's a lot of room for error with this. Like if you get in a situation, like you gonna have trouble, you might have trouble if you're not trained properly. Now the most smoothest one, Glock 40. I mean, 40 cal is, 40 cal is what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about, 40 cal. So that's comfortable, nine millimeter. It depends what model you go to. Just never get a high point. Now y'all can go Google what I'm talking about. A high point is like a, a blick for beginners. We don't want, we don't want, we don't do that to yourself. These hollow points, you know what I'm saying? These are defense bullets. These are not a ranged bullet. Now a ranged bullet, is a mustard it's a mustard it's a all it's all one color it's this color range bullet uh there's no it's not hollowed out you just shoot them at targets this is a for this is for defense so when it hits you it expands it doesn't go through any walls uh you don't have to worry about it ricocheting and hitting up something once it hits its target it expands but this one See, you got the little red thing in front of it. That red thing, I believe, gives it more speed coming out or more power. Something I forgot. I'm gonna be real with you. I forgot what that does, but it gives it more velocity is what I'm, that's the word I'm looking for. But this is still a hollow point though. It is very important to keep your stuff clean. You know, after you go to the range, just spin it in there. You know what I'm saying? Spin it out. If you really want to get technical, now it is empty. There's nothing in there. You get me, put it up, decock. Decock is when the pistol's all the way pressed back the trigger. Now it's decock. Pull it down. I was trying to show y'all the in inners and things of that nature. Pull it back down. This is what I was talking about, you get me. This comes off fully. Spring comes off, barrel comes out. Um, these are the inners that I was talking about. All of this stuff. You could buy these OEM from Glock if you ever have trouble with them. Don't be foolish. Just because it's a Glock, you could put Glocks through anything. But always grease up, man. This is the grease I'll be using. Don't be out there jamming. That jam, that little, that little, that little five, two, two, three seconds that it takes you to unjam, it costs you your life. You know what I'm saying? Be safe. 
Keep your firearms away from children at all times, at all costs. Don't be irresponsible gun owner. Um, never put your finger on that trigger. I don't care if it's empty. Just hold it like this if you're not doing it. If you're not prepared to, you know, do, do what you need to do. You get me? <laughs> Thumbnail purposes. You get me? TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification. Once I get all my stuff from Chicago, I'm going to give y'all the whole gun tour. You get me?